right, here's my switched reluctance motor. See, I made a armature out of a metal plate. If you put gear in there, it has some nice bearings in it. Cut the notches in there to make a four poles. So it's pretty smooth, turns very easily. Then these are relay coils. 24 volt relay coils and I took the relays apart and just mounted them there so that they're pretty close on the edges there okay and here's the little controller that I made and it's got a little relay driver for driving those relay coils 24 volts and it has a pick 16F684 a little rough looking but it works so. anyway that's the setup Put some voltage to it. Okay, that's twelve volts. And you see it starts to want to spin. There's 24 volts. You can see it's kind of oscillating there. Okay, back again. I put a couple of magnets on that rotor there. You can see it kind of centers up on each of the pole pieces there. And if you look carefully, you see the LEDs light, so it is jacked generating. This may be interesting. I put the kept the magnets on there, and you can see with it trying to run, it just oscillates. <clears throat> what I've done here, I put the magnets on all four full pieces there. And it's basically running like a BLDC. <clears throat> okay, this shows it in slow motion. And uh, I can see what the problem is here. I'm firing two sets at once. But on the third set, with the red and the green, doesn't do much. Not to show the schematic for it, but there's a definite reason for that. And I think I may have to go to a full bridge circuit, or else possibly drive each one of those separately. Not too big a deal, but uh, and that's what it's going to need.
I took reduced voltage down to 12 volts. Only about 65 milliamps. 